Hey you guys, so, whoops, 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 um, we're going to use the clone stamp tool. Uh, this is what it does. Let's create another layer. So we hold, click and hold down, grab the clone stamp tool. Um, then, now, I want to get rid of these houses, so I go find an area that I think would be good to place in here, okay? And then what I do is I very carefully, I find the area, I think, okay, right here, it would be good to put it where these houses are because I want to get rid of the houses, okay? I then hold, on a Macintosh, I hold down the Option key. On a Windows machine, you hold down the Alt key, you can see how my cursor has become a crosshairs. I then click once, just once. Click. Okay? Now, you can change the size of this thing over here, right? Then I'm going to come over and slow. I'm going to then click and hold down and then slowly brush, brush away. You can see the pattern from where I was before is very slowly being placed onto where I'm brushing. Okay, very slowly here. And okay. So now you can see that uh, it just looks like kind of the bush moved up a little bit. So it's gone. Now look over here at the layers. Right. If I make this original, my original graphic background, if I turn it off, you can see what has been placed up there. Right. So then if I go up here and click there, the house would be back. All right. Then, of course, we can go over and export it as whatever it is we want. 